Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Pretty sure I said back during the Mass Effect 1, 2, 3 replays that I wasn't going to do Andromeda again. That I wasn't going to touch it. Of course, all of that was back before, you know, actually having a computer that could actually properly run Andromeda without cooking itself. Well, without five, well, or is it? Two to ten FPS. I remember the FPS being fine for some of it, and then complete and utter shite for the rest of it. But yeah, now we should be able to do Andromeda, which is good. Well, not exactly good. I mean, Andromeda's not the worst. It's just it's not that great. There are some concepts I like to it. But others, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're going to repeat some of the stuff I mentioned back in the old Andromeda series. For obvious reasons. But, yeah. Mostly because I got tired of so many failed attempts at other things. Like, I wanted to do Odyssey. I really wanted to do Odyssey. The problem, though, is Fraps does not want to rework with Odyssey don't know why. It's like doing the cutscenes, it's like the audio plays way ahead of the video. In game, perhaps reduces the frame rate by a lot, which is rude, very rude. And yes, I've tried like shadow play. The problem with shadow play is shadow play is like, oh, I'm tired of recording, I'm just gonna stop mid recording just just decides to stop on its own which is yeah less good so hopefully this works better with fraps because if not yeah because you remember Jedi Fallen Order it didn't exactly like fraps that well it worked just didn't like fraps well but yeah I was going to do Odyssey at like 10 FPS or such and with cutscenes just constantly breaking. It was just. There was a second. They also annoys me. Like some of the music in game, even with music this high up, you can't hear it. Like at all. Like the music in the. on the uh, ship, it does not really. I can't even hear that shit. <laughs> Music on this, I can heal. It's just like the ship's music. It's like I think Mass Effect had a similar issue, but I mean, three would heal my song constantly, which I'm pretty. I can't remember if we got copyright flight for that or not. But we were constantly playing that one. Dynamic. Uh, is that a way to make that higher? I don't know what that... Because, yeah, we don't have cinema quality. We ha don't have that. We have a headset, so... Maybe I should set that. That's around. That's stereo. Uh, do you not have set... Apparently, you don't have settings for a headset. Wow. Good for them. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that was the thing. So apparently applying settings does that. Because it... Because the game basically has this one issue well... So I'm running in full screen, supposedly. No, that's... Yeah, I'm supposed to be running this in full screen, but it's not in full screen. Because if I alt-tab, it puts it into a window. I don't know why. <laughs> It's not alt enter, it's alt tab. But yeah. Hopefully the sound's fine. Voice should be fine from my test. Because I've done at least 12 hours, got done with EOS. Well, first done with EOS. And I decided, you know what? Fuck it, we can record Andromeda. 
Because, you know, we already have so much other stuff to be recording, but... Oh well. More stuff to you add to the list. Because I was working on RTS stuff, Star Wars Gladys Backgrounds, Warcraft 3, doing them again. The problem though is Warcraft 3 has this small... I have like one of the last versions before Reforge finally t completely took over. And the problem though is the cutscenes in Warcraft 3 don't work with that version because like... After a while with the cutscenes just bug out and they'll just have no actual voiceovers to just start skipping through lines. Because apparently that's a issue of my version. My version's one of the versions before Reforge fully took over, so I can't really do shit about that without dealing with Reforge. Then I don't want to do that. And Star Wars Collider Paragon was... Well, after Warcraft 3, I was no longer in an RTS mood, so I just wiped it all. So here's the thing, we could do a new game plus, which... Curious. Which new game plus... Intel? Oh. I was gonna say, I shouldn't have any say. I would have to be your saves. Huh. But I'm not gonna do new game plus for this one. I should. If I have enough mods to make things easier, Maybe a bit cheeky. Maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, character creation, everyone. Because you know how much we love character creation in this. By the way, character creation in this sucks so bad. Like, I think Mass Effect 3's character creation was better. Hell, Mass Effect 1's character creation was better. Hell. Dragon Age Inquisition's character creation is better. A lot better. This is just... yeah. By the way, you're currently offline because fuck dealing with EA. <laughs> and Origin. So can choose a gender. We could be, you know, Scott Ryder. Ooh. Or it could be Sarah Ryder. Her default face haunts me. I mean, look at that. Look at that. They're gonna go to the customer with parents. Which none of the heads even get close to her default appearance. Also, I hate. Th none of them really work for me. Like, they all seem, you know. None of them are like the right proper skin tone for me. Like, the best I used to be able to come up with was some sort of Asian. <laughs> Like, that's the best I could do. I couldn't get a good pal going on for any of my characters, really, back in the day. However, like, this here's about the closest pal you could get. Yeah. No. So, we're gonna be using mods. Look at that. Much better. Much better co complexion. Yes, I'm sure I want to use that. Okay, so here's the thing. There isn't really enough, you know. I can't really do much with this. That's fine. Like, see, if you do this with the complexion, yeah. It just falls apart. So that's why we keep it like that. It's almost like one of the Star Wars The Republic things. Not entirely sure what Stormy did. But it's almost like some of my Star Wars The Republic characters, if I'm what I remember. Or the brow height. Sadly, we can't change the brow direction. So we're always going to look slightly worried and, slight and mostly sad. Like our character's just going to have this default sad look. Like, just sort of a, I exist. This is my fate. I have to help save everyone. But anyway, I need a better brow. Actually, if I move her brow down that much, it actually gets slightly better. Yeah, I could do that. That way we look 
We still look a bit sad, but we don't look, you know. Just meh. That's more of a surprise than meh. I think I had around 12. But yeah, if I completely lower the browser's height. Oh no, what if we put it at like. Eh, once. So no brow height. Now she just looks determined and sad. Determined sad. Oh, okay, here's the thing. She. She kind of is fine. Perfectly as it is. Now we rise it up to. Sheep with them. Yeah, I want that up. Not full, but up a bit. Just slightly. Ah, uh, chin height. Battery sit. Fifteen. Yeah, okay. Chin dip. That's yeah, fine. Chin whip. And jar whip. Burr. This one, yeah, I just want this one slightly up. Yeah, Travis Hunt. Don't want to make her look too off, but yeah. And then eyes. Do it. <laughs> that, yeah, no. Honestly, not too much of a noticeable difference going down. But going up, yeah. So lower eye height a bit, I dip out a bit more, I whip. It's actually pretty fine. Yeah, that's fine. Mouth. A bit less. Step slightly, out slightly, in slightly. Uh, down slightly, probably out slightly. Oh, uh, the nose whip though. Not terrible, but right. Okay, so that's basically all for customization, really, for you know stuff like that. So I'll go to hair size. We'll start to and go through them. So here's the thing, the default sour hair. It's not bad. I like it, honestly. Once. Meh. It's not bad, but it doesn't really do anything for me. Twos. Sure, why ever. I like three. Fours, yeah, that's a thing. Fives, eh. 
that's uh, more soupies now, if anything. Seven's not bad, I think. Seven's why I had a. Uh, uh, our old Sarah Ryder in us. But we played as Scott, so yeah. Uh, that's what we had. Not my style. Not really my style. I prefer, you know, an actual ponytail to that. Mm, which is a bit too corporate, though. But it's a bit less corporate, though. Doesn't really work for me. Next. Doesn't really work for me. Next. I mean... Sure, but no. 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 <laughs> no. We'll get back to that one. No. No. And... Yeah. But obviously we're gonna go with this one, because mods. I mean... I mean, why wouldn't I? So how customization, I mean we could go blonde. But blonde's not really my style. All the shades of that. There's no good white though. Which pisses me off a bit. There's grey. There's silverish grey. There's no white. I just don't know why. Like Sarah's thing. Not that I'm gonna use white, but yeah. Oh, so there's no. This is a pink. There's no. Like, you know. No pink I would use. Like the hair customization, I probably could download a mod and more hair colors, to be honest. But yeah. But here's the thing. Well, that is. I do really like that red, to be honest. That red. Yeah. I think we might go. I do really like that red, though, to be honest. I think we'll probably go that red. It looks a bit dark out here over the roots, but yeah. Why does it go that one? That's probably red, though. Do you like darker? Yeah, we'll go this way. Why not? Change up slightly. But yeah. Okay. And moving right along. See? Now here's what they should have had for hell. I don't know why they didn't have this for hell. Like here's all these hell color choices. Well you then you get to the eyes like, well, here's the hot color wheel. You wanna use the color wheel, right? So here's the thing, my colors are usually, for this, around a thousand red and around six, six, six and blue. Green is whatever, but yeah. So just... Just... Somewhere around... Now, see, we can make this color pink, but we can't do anything about the hell. I know, right? So infuriating. Then we have eyeliner, which, yeah. 
I wish it starts. The Astro 5 is not bad. 5 6 might be bad. I mean, yeah, 5 is not bad. I can't really tell too much difference between them. I think we should keep with 5. Go to Eyeliner and do. Go to Eyeshadow. There's the thing, eyeshadow. None. Whatever the hell that is. Not very my style. Or it could be peepee. No. Five's probably where it's gonna end up. No. No. And like I can't really tell if eight's even anything. We just got back to five. And guess what? We could have purple. But well, let's try it now that we can actually see what it is. Yeah, none. What is that? Oh. Oh, I see. It's basically around the eye. Uh, yeah, that is. Makes sense. This eye shadow is right around the eyes. Interesting. A fives. Well, that would be right under the eyes, too. I like that, you know, eye shadow. Which basically means we go here and we drop it. Then we have lipstick style, which. I like one. Oh no, each one has that. Four or five is probably the four we use. We'll see. Gloss up to about. And of course, black. Black is an art. And half now it's actually not just. Now, four is not what I really want to want anyway, so yeah, it would have to be five, wouldn't it? That's no. So yeah, five. Which then is not really that dark. Such dark. Eh. Wait. There we go. I was like, wait a second. That means it's not, you know, fully at that. And yeah, the gloss. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, whoops. Uh, brush. Blush, blah, blah, blah. Aren't I fine with or without it, to be honest? Anyway, so hey, that's done. Moving right along. So, scars, by the way, I don't really like any of them. They don't really look like a scar, to be honest. Err. I mean, it's supposed to look like a scar. It looks like someone tossed some bacon on her face. That looks like a worm. Doesn't really look like a scar. And I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to be. I don't know if that really works for me, to be honest. As for tattoos, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Jesus. Oh, where was the one I actually like though? It's sort of like that. I know. Okay, I guess it's a nice little collar. But when there was a collar, she would be something noticeable, so. You know what? Uh, her. Okay. Rotate to the right collar. Now. Well, so now I have this little pink collar around us. Sort of. I like. 
So anyway, we have the determined sad face. So that is our our rider. So here's basically our training where we can start. Here's the thing. Well, I like combat, because, you know, soldier thing. It doesn't really matter much in this because bullshit hacks that is Sam that could just say, oh, well, I just want to switch my abilities. Uh, I'm no longer feeling like being, uh, you know, a soldier. I want to be an adept. Oh, no, I want to be, uh, you know, an infantry. Just like that. <laughs> sort of bullshit, but yeah, that's how it works. There's a thing, security's not bad. You start with a concussive drop, which is. Eh. But I just think I want to scrap. Oop. But I didn't mean that properly. If I fight broke out, you will always use the first surgeon thing. Because Scrapper gives you charge. We're probably gonna go mostly Vanguard. Probably a lot more combat for, you know, weapons, combat focus, but, I mean, combat fitness. But charge is a good biotic ability. Well, it's not the greatest of biotic ability in this, but for what I'm gonna be doing, it'll work. Because, yeah, I'm planning on going to Vanguard. Scary, don't you realize me? Don't you focus on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics. Yay. But Scrapper. So, choose our name. It's not Sarah. It is. So, Tiffany. Because we use that name a lot. For female characters, anyway. And then we have a twin. We could keep him looking, you know, default, but default's boring. So while we have for customization, also I didn't ha I didn't download anything from Mail Rider for presets. So this is customization ten. Oh God. Yep, that's a thing. Do you have any upper heads that look good? Mm, well, head three maybe. I might be able to do something with head three. Those eyebrows though. Compared to all the upper faces, like, what the hell is that? Urgh, he looks, his eyes look, just, no. They look off for such. Yeah, I think I might try doing something with, something with this face. I'm not sure what I'm going to. Well, we have this face. We could try altering it. Okay, so what do we have here? Can I turn your... Com oh, God, no. So, your complexion is either... No. Fine, more deal with it. Skin tone. Sure, that's not as that. That's a bit more yellow as the pale, but. Okay, well, we have a brow, brow height, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to spend forever on this character, just, you know.
do, 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 do. Oh, so why is this face? Is there some sort of like what? What? That I don't know what he's trying to do. It's like he's not. It's not a smirk. It's not a smile. It's just sort of. I don't know what's going on now. It's confusing me. Okay, uh, no. Sure, why not? And it's about what should be right and it's not even the same nose as what our character has and hairstyle so what do we have for male hairstyles we have bat 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 Last time, uh, when I chose, uh, for, uh, for Daddy Rider to look sort of like us, he ended up with that hell. He ended up sort of looking like, uh, Willem Dafoe in a way. Which was a bit odd, like a very bad impression of Willem Dafoe. And that's not bad. What else you got? Okay, let's go back to the ponytail because I, you know, I have penchant for ponytails. And hair color. Oh god, we could have that thing. Perms. And silver doesn't really work. How much you can't really change the eye from the color too. Just meh. I mean, we could go with that. Just, yeah. Toss it in there. Last time I did this, I had like, um. Some sort of ginger. Well, like super ginger, basically. Flame hell. <laughs> yeah. But I think I've got more of my style. Also, build. We could go. Which wouldn't be the worst, but. You know, I have to go with the mutton stash. Is that even a mutton stash in this? It's too dry. But still, oh uh, well, the hell! I told you to have that. Are you gonna defy me? That's better. Uh, and so your eyes, by the way, they should be the same as our characters because you know something about the family. Whoosh. Eh. on a thousand. Lower that slightly. I got gender eye color. Whoosh. A pill. Yeah. And yeah, pout though. Green's whatever. Makeup, eyeliner. 
You know the same colors, right? Of course you do. No. Why would you give him eyeliner? He doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Sure he does. Of course he does. He's one of my characters, after all. Uh, maybe eh, about the same. And black. Come on. No. And blush is fine. I could give him a scar. But none of them are very good. I got scar on my well. Yeah, sure, why not? And then on our same tattoo design. Cause you know, why wouldn't I? Her whoa. I said that. Uh, you got me to find Move that thing up. Oh, so where is my red? About that. Up to a thousand. Bounce there to about. There we go. Bounce there. So there we go. He has a rider. With his. Wow. Her. Not that we're really going to be seeing that much of him. Also, yes, inherit Eric Riders and Pimps. Choose the Pimps to have a power for Eric Riders. Pimps can either adapt to your player's customization or remain as the default version. It'll be based on your customized ride. Oh god, it's not going to be anything like what you want to be. Also, choose the Ginger the Legendary. So, what was our Shepherd, by the way? I believe our Shepherd was Mal. So there you go. And yes, upload and park out of there. By the way, I believe we're ready for this. So here's the thing. We could actually do this one hardcore. Cause yeah. It would actually be more of a challenge. And actually I'm thinking I might do that just because I have enough mods that make things easy. So fuck it. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, uh, I feel like this entire customization thing is taking up the entire video, so. We'll probably save, bef we'll probably end the video before we head to the first planet, though. But anyway, EA presents, presents a Bioworld production. Every yeah. great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way are resort to even more distant stars. With 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one way voyage, the future begins in Andromeda.
Mass Effect. When the first Mass Effect came out, it was like, by the way, we discovered these relays that we call Mass Effect relays. That was like the whole, one of the core focuses of the game, was the fact that there was Mass Effect relays. There's not even any relays in this. But anyway, yeah, we're still keeping Mass Effect just because there is not. Okay, period. Jesus, that was a huge car. Seven and Heroes Cluster. By the way, the Andromeda Galaxy is so much larger than the Milky Way Galaxy. We're going to get into this. It's going to be a time of discussion. Because we're going to one small area, like well, a star cluster. And that's all we have in this small area. It's a star cluster. In a galaxy that's way larger than the Milky Way Galaxy. <gasps> But yeah, look at her. We just look Deep sad breaths. all the time. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Rider, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder oh, team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year round? No. How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. The most of them suck. But we'll get into that. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? By the way, tone choices. And easy is no fun. I hope not. Signed up for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said, mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? I would say I like her character's form. Oh, that was awkward. I like her character's voice. It's not terrible. Um, it's not, you know, Jennifer Hale, but not many could be Jennifer Hale. And, you know, it's not an Imperial agent, a female Imperial agent from Star Wars The Republic. Or a Sith Inquisitor female from Star Wars The Republic. Which are two of my favorites. But anyway. Questions. I just implant. need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. But yeah, get ready. Assuming the implants right. work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you? Otherwise. Oh no. Perhaps <laughs> it's starting to lag and stuff. Well, that's concerning. Oh, I'm still thawing. I feel like a 600 year old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. 
Wait, I don't know what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Well, that's Try fun. Brevity Crowby is offline. Did you know, do something? Uh, careful of the I'm all inside. Hold on. Bob's just gonna float, hell. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. Oh, no. Don't worry, we always have a worried face. So that's appropriate. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. What's well, more of a well, worry sad? Like some sort of power Sometimes you term it's sad. But still it's always okay. gonna look worried I'm sad. Running a diagnostic now. Sad in general. Give it a second. Nothing I can really do about that. That's Did a complex storm. So. No, he's reported physical yeah. Ryder? Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. This is the captain. I need damage assessment updates. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door. Whenever you're ready to go. Well, first they die. Don't worry, Ryder. We'll take care no of him. Dialogue. He'll make it. Sometimes the game wants to dialogue, sometimes the game doesn't want to dialogue. What about me No, he came with the game. Yeah. Yeah. Still in stasis. See how this Idols look good. Oh, you. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked to you before, did I? It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. To the information wall. Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. At present, Arc Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As Recon Specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Ooh. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. Your current location is Arc Hyperion, housing the human population. Arc Parchero, the Solarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. That, that the Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Arc Natanis, embarking in 2185. Still doesn't tell me the status. I asked for the other arts because, you know, I thought they would tell me about the other arts. No, just tell me their names and when they departed. That doesn't tell us anything about the Corian arc. Which never got DLC, by the way, because Bywell just decided. Well, maybe it was EA that just decided. Yeah, no one really likes Andromeda. We're just gonna abandon such. Yeah, it's good enough, whatever. <laughs> Move on to where the hell is next? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. 
Just Once remember the Pathfinder something. team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. Remember that it's been 600 years since we well, first scanned this area. Like, oh yeah, it's time to find. Where's that off? But 600 years across dark space. Like, we went, you know, past the Reapers in dark space, too. Wherever else we went. But the Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. Basically, you're the active duty scout. Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. This is the captain. Yeah, basically, you're just. Basically, advanced scouts. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. Well, that's not good. Well, I guess we're done here then. Do 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 do. <laughs> so over here, still can't scan, by the way. We can look at cryopods and be like, sweet dreams. Wow. Another colonist here. Weird. How do you mean? I don't know if I fully went all the way back here before. Probably not. Yeah, all, all these cryopods. Honestly, I'm gonna need that cryopods in this section. Is though. I mean, for you know, trying to so ease out. Your name's Oh, it's a to talk to. It left a nasty bump no. on you. Enjoy your nap, Ryder. Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. I wish we could do this. This is literally a thing we could do. Well, hey there. Hell of a wake up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. Makes two of us. Hang in there. I am a guitar technically pretty tired to be our best friend, but he's not our best friend. He's gonna try, though. Our attention Hyperion personnel to sit on your forage. The good news is we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We arrived in the nearest cluster and drawn the count to 2,819. So that's technically. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think about that. That's technically more than 600 years. Because <laughs> we left that... Wait. We left for 2,185. So 600 years would be 2,785. So it's been more than that. Our study is the medical personnel should be reported to immediately against the Pathfinder mission team. Provide your priority and preference to members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual sin of the last year phenomenon and the cluster of investigative updates to follow. What'd they tell you? Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon? Or. I don't know. Good to see you, Ryder. Hmm. Uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. So who did medical stuff for, you know, the first one's our guy? I mean, like, the medical team. Who did the medical stuff for the medical team? Hello, Trevor, and welcome to your first day in Dramda. This is the dawn of a new era for us all. As you come from stasis, know that you're in good hands and fear your arms. You'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of fair homes as you chase your fortunes and build a new life you've always dreamed about. It's been a long way, but I promise you it'll be worth it. This looks Yay. Broken. I still can't scan. We haven't talked to Cor. So let's ready? go through the door. What's wrong? Oh god, yes! it's worth it. By the way. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. Oh. We have to balance the power loader, it could explode. Oh, no. well, we don't know where the fault is! By 
out of the way. Ryder could find it. She has a scanner. They had Quick, Ryder, scanner. use it to locate the vault. Do it. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second. There's no indication of a hey, fault in this component. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? I don't know. Can I? I can. There. It's Back reset. It. Rerouting the current now. Yeah, Thank we God. did it. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. Everyone could have died. <laughs> Luckily, Good job, Ryder. We to that. Now we can get to the tram. And then head to the tram. By the way, you have a scanner now. The only problem with the scanner is you're literally you're not allowed to scan enough things. Like it's just sort of a like yeah, you can scan things. But yet you can't scan things. Getting reports the water flow control is offline. Game's very picky about what it wants you to scan and what it does want you to scan. Which is, you know. It works, but at the same time, it's a bit annoying at the same time. Because I want to scan things. But I'm not allowed to scan things. Bye anyway, bye. Boop. That was close. Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. Dead bad. So yeah, here we. So 2085 departure. Say something. Ed. Now it's come. Sensor readings report logged. Trajectory drift detected. Report logged. Trajectory course correction confirmed. Arts condition green. Sensor array fault detected. Failed. Trajectory destination confirmed. This. So I probably about 2,700. Nope, just skips that. Ah, uh, for it's not detected. Sensor fault. Error. Wow, oh, that's great. The adventure begins. Yeah. Not sure your dad will see it that way. The adventure begins. Go ahead begins. and take us to the bridge. Oh, God. Boop. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam. Oh, God. We need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our like appointed golden world. Solid ground. From if TV it's even show. out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. His eyes also aren't the right type of pink, I don't think. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? My father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Give me slight... Is that our golden Not well world? Not well vibes, though. That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. But that was set out years ago. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Who's that? Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions well, are I mean, unknown. Look at that. We're marooned. 
20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? We are dead. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. Well, at least he's positive about it. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Yeah, sure. Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. There are parts of Andromeda I like. There are parts I don't like. But we'll get into that more as things go on. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear his stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. I want and to do a lot of things. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Go to World Site verification, constant mapping of unknown territories, financial semester, scientific analysis and discovering new phenomena, potential for contact with us, ratio, establishing different relations, flow and habits, just support, settlement, and outposts. Oh, I got stuff with the good luck. The now. what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Hang in there, Scott. Looks like dad's already suited up. Well, of course he is. That or not, no bathroom breaks on this trip. But, but it's water. Harper and Ryder, to the hangar. We the scanned rock. Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things we can scan like the rock, finally. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Ooh. Poke. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, We'll need any luck we can get. Yay. Yeah. So by the way, you can scan people. 100% human. I've seen my share of the Milky Way, and I've never come across anything like it. 100% human. The Pathfinder team is assembling in the hangar. 100% human. 100% human. I walk. I hope the other arcs made it. The whole initiative the liquid is water is present. Just in case you got what water is. I mean, it has been since 100 years. First contact protocol on the Pandemia and Half-Hour Team of Commerce Intelligent Life in the period of the first contact. Protocol to be sure they serve the Andromeda Initiative. Hearts of principles of peace and cooperation amongst their highest stewards. Best of action against extraterrestrials. It's already permitted when hostile intent is cleverly demonstrated. Half-Hour Team members are at obvious danger. That's what it said at the end. We must talk to them. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? Don't be afraid. He was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys on the ride down. There's our helmet. Yay. Got it. Helmet one. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. Of course. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. And here's the thing. I mean, there's a sniper rifle. There's a... I think that's a submachine gun. Might be a assault rifle or a shotgun. I'm not I think it's probably a salt rifle. But all we get is a pistol. Better safe than sorry. Those are those mods and stuff now, but no. No. All we get is a pistol.
Yay. We can't even save the game yet, though. That's the irritating part. So anyway, you might note, for example, I don't know. So yeah, we can have everything in our inventory. We're gonna be gaining a lot more skill points. We're gonna be gaining a. Uh, our weapons are supposed to be do higher damage and stuff. Uh, trying to think what else. Some bonuses from some of the Kyra Bay perks and all of that. Supposed to get more credits and stuff. But yeah. Nothing's too overpowered or abilities are supposed to be doing more damage technically. Supposedly bounced. Making them actually some of the less effective abilities more effective compared to the RA effective abilities but yeah stuff technical stuff also there are things like uh, research so I don't have to research I don't have to wait like every five levels to be able to upgrade things which means I can tend to go up to a t level 10 weapon right off the bat though, but that might be a bit overpowered. Besides, I don't think I'd be able to get the mods for it <laughs> right off the bat either. But anyway. So now it's time we report to the hangar bay and start the game proper. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.